The back rooms. You've been here before. Level 53. Alone. Attempt number 53. Hello there. To whoever is reading this, if anyone. My name is Alan Grady. I am a 37-year-old male of average height. I am writing this because I am trapped in my own home, and I don't know how to get out. And this is my latest attempt at outside communication. I guess it's best to start where it started. It was December of 2008, almost Christmas. It was just me in the house that day, alone. I don't remember much, but I remember my entire house falling, if that makes any sense. I still have the damn decorations up right now as of writing. Well, then I woke up after being knocked out cold for who knows how long. I awoke to see my house how it normally should be, though some objects and glass shards were on the floor from what had happened. I looked around to see if the outside world was still outside my windows. I realized that this wasn't the case soon after. I thought things could still be normal after all of that. I tried opening my front door, but it just led back to my house. I froze in fear. I didn't understand what was going on, nor did I really want to know. It all happened too fast. I jolted back to the corner of my wall and sat down with my back leaning against it. I just sat there in shock and deep thought. What will I do now? I looked around to explore the house itself. Everything there was normal for the most part. All the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the kitchen, my devices, it was all there. Even the basement. Here's an image of the kitchen if you were wondering. Image caption. Cozy, ain't it? A small bundle of a mess that I call home. Well, days had passed, then days soon turned to months. But the sky outside the window never got dark. It was always early in the morning, like 7am maybe. I can't really tell anymore. The clock still works, and it's 4.23 a.m. currently. I haven't gotten much sleep since I got here, but I never felt I needed to often. The food is edible, and the water is drinkable, but only from the fridge, and I need to use a filter pitcher. Soon, I thought I ran out of things to eat, but when I went down into the basement, there is always a pile of food on the ground that can last me a few days. I always have to grab it all and run to the fridge and cabinets to make sure some of the food stays fresh. It doesn't restock at certain times, though. It's always completely random. One time, it wouldn't restock for weeks. I have no clue how I was able to survive that long and feel normal. It wasn't until the very last week that I started to feel very hungry, as if all the days previously that I hadn't eaten had come back to haunt me. That was until I looked to see if the basement had restocked. And it did but I noticed that most of the packages were ripped open and broken. I then saw movement, so I quickly walked towards the small food pile to see what was inside. Turns out, a little mouse had gotten into the food pile and was having a good time eating everything he saw. Must have been here before the house fell. I carefully trapped the mouse in a jar, brought him upstairs to a small cage from a previous hamster pet, and made him my little friend. I named him Louie, I fed him daily, but honestly... It doesn't help the fact that I am still alone from any other human being. Well, soon after, years had passed, and during those times, I'd get visitors. I still do. However, they are not human. They are more tall, slender, and they have no face. They don't seem to be any danger, though. They just aimlessly wander my house, either sitting at the table, or the couch, or just looking out the windows. Sometimes they sit next to me as I watch the TV. Surprisingly, it still works normally. I still needed to get a new cable before all of this, so there wasn't much to watch. Wi-Fi also still works, although it's practically shit. There isn't much to do, so I took to cooking as a hobby. All the kitchen utensils work, so I usually cook whenever I can with my random assortments of food. I make really good steak if you ever want to try some. Whoever you are. If you even find me. I still needed to get a new cable before all of this, so there wasn't much to watch. Wi-Fi also still works, although it's practically shit. There isn't much to do, so I took to cooking as a hobby. All the kitchen utensils work, so I usually cook whenever I can with my random assortments of food. I make really good steak if you ever want to try some. Whoever you are. If you even find me. Image Caption 
It's here for you anytime you come by. Even though my food restocked in my basement, it's always on the concrete floor in the middle of the room, so I have to go and wash it every time after moving all the food so nothing gets infected. Meanwhile, I noticed I was getting a pile of food every few days to a week, which was much more than I could eat. I started to save my food to make sure I have enough to last me a few years, and how did it work out for me? I've got my own cookbook and everything. I'm sort of an expert in cooking now. Well, a lot of time has passed now. I recently made many attempts to escape, including breaking the windows. It has always shown a nice neighborhood and some people walking around outside. I would always stare at them or even scream for help, but no one did anything. Well, besides one time where there was a whole group of people just staring at me from afar through the window, I really couldn't sleep after that. I made my efforts to break the windows, but they wouldn't budge until one of them eventually broke. Although my efforts were for nothing, as it just led back to my house. Again. Now I'm just here. There seems to be no way out, and it seems like I'm stuck here for the rest of my life. You know, I just... miss people. I miss my family. I miss my life. I was working in a very well-paying job, as my wife took care of my kids. I just wonder, why was I brought down here? Everything happens for a reason, right? Then what's the reason for my suffering? Why? Well, these are questions I can think about later. I'm putting these notes in my mail slip on my front door. Since when I put something through it, it never appears on the other side. It has to lead to somewhere. Sadly, the space is only small enough to fit a letter. So that is what I'm doing now. I hope someone does find this, and whoever you are, please help me. Your friend, Alan Grady. Meg Report, 8734, 7-09-2016. Meg Operative Fritz Opel of Division Location Salvation found the note Attempt 53 while scouting the area of Level 9. The note was found in front of the red-painted wooden door of a small house. 